Welcome back for the Windy City Open 2020, presented once again by the Walter family. But uh, first up, Lee Kao Yi, taking on El Arabi of Egypt, then Masotti <laughs> will be taking on Nicky Muller of Switzerland, Lobben against Victor, US interest there as we look further down. A lot of English players as well. And then Shah Jahan Khan of the USA will play Leo Au of Hong Kong. And Sabrina Sobi, who's in wonderful form up against Nader Abbas of Egypt. So some great matches for today's play. Uh, doing a marvellous job, should I say. As is Fahim Khan, the, uh, the national coach. Well, she's looking tricky here. She's uh, pretty Seven fearless. Six. Well, it was a great start from El Arabi. And since the kind of shank into the uh, front corner, what's your predictions where, how far do you think she can go, well, Joe? Hopefully, uh, well into top ten, I feel. Eight, seven. Well into top ten. Once you get in amongst it there, then you just never know, do you? Mm. The attacking, attacking length as well as the short tricks. Well played, play. though, from Yi. And out. Eight, ten, game ball. It's well spotted Lame. by the ref. Game to El Arabi. El Arabi leads one game to love. She's got it off nearly. She does like the old three wheel post nick there, El Arabi. Yeah, it's tidy work. Good use of the speed of feet Five from four. Arabi here. She gets into that front right hand corner quickly here, onto the ball, straight drop. That was beautifully played. Very tidy. Bracket, bracket face. That out of course. Apparently it was good. The ball, if it does go outside the blue line, is still in. And out. 5-8. That's tidy. That was a master clock. And out, 9-5. Beautiful finish here from El Arabi. Out. Slightly heavy, change of pace attempt from Yi. 11-6, game to El Arabi. El Arabi leads, games to love. See, they're just looking at the windows as they clap. But Purple lights the strangest. Well, you, that was the question that you asked. Why well, was it the strangest? Because the colours are very unique. It's brown, kind of the brown floor. The, the colours are very unique and different. And out. So it was strange, as in different. But I also liked it. Just because it was strange doesn't mean I had to dislike it. Home, basically homemade. Oh, really? Homemade ones, yeah. Where did they put those at? Um, it, one was in Sao Paulo. And then the other one and out, in Budapest was in a, in a, in a tennis... Uh, tennis centre where they put the <laughs> cheers. <laughs> yeah, that's why my head's this shape. Hand out. 3-8. Yeah, it's nicely Eleven tidied six. up there from Al Arabi. Al Arabi. Short day at the Big office for the young run. Egyptian. Did exactly Eleven what eight. was required Eleven to six. see her Eleven place six. into the second round of this Windy City Open. <laughs> because Müller has uh, a very tasty short game when he's on song. Yeah, good strength Hang through the out. middle of the court. Slightly Three loose one. and inaccurate from Mueller.
just starting to get back into this now, Nicky Muller. Rally's starting to extend slightly. Yeah, the heart rate's up. Oh, Zotti's up 102 beats per minute. So two, 202. Yeah, sorry, 202. Four all. He's up the tempo there, Nicky Muller. Six, five. And that's forcing Mazzotti to play a little bit less accurately. Just as we expected, really. It's been... Oh, that's tidy. Love to see that again. It looked like a very good cross-court nick attempt from Mazzotti. But as we thought, it was going to be the rocket that was yeah. going to be the more proactive. But it's now the Frenchman who gets himself in front here. Eight, six lead. Good pressure. Right box. That's poor width from Muller. Oh. Yeah, that's clever. It's a very short back swing. A flick of the wrist from Mazzotti. This backhand cross court stays Masati very, very leads. short. One game to love. He's come racing out of the gate in this second game. He's got himself in front of Mazzotti. The body language has changed from the Swiss. Oh, it's beautiful. Just luring Nicky Muller into the front right corner. The last Hand second out. just works One the racket three. head across the ball. Flicking. Given by both players here. It's really important for Muller to get into this second. See the tempo just increasing slightly. That's, that's where Masotti is very dangerous. Mid-court, given angles Hand off out. the side wall. For all. Doesn't matter if it's backhand or forehand, he takes the ball in beautifully, low and short. Not up. Eight, four. Down. 11, seven, game to Muller. One game all. Game on, Simon Rosner in the <laughs> medieval hall here, ready to go and talk to his uh, to his best mate, Nicky Muller. Play will resume in 60 seconds. The rocket is starting to refuel. Tidy. Good counter punching from Masotti. Hand out. 2 5. 5 1 lead eradicated. Now locked in. 1 all, 6 all. Not up. Oh, straight on the old derriere. Hand from out. Seven, it wasn't six. a great serve. It was an even worse cross court. Caught Masotti by complete surprise. Oh, he's done it again. It's just the boast has got thrown up by Nicky Muller. A little bit too casual. Hand out. Seven all. The hold and the flick. Yes, well read. Oh, my goodness gracious me. The angle of the racket face as he hits down and across the left-hand side of the ball, thumping this Hand into out. the front right-hand corner. Eight all. Impressive racket work from the rocket. Just watch this again, he's off the floor. Yeah, it's clever work. Took a little bit of extra space there, Mazzotti stood his ground. Again, it's the counter work Hand into out. the front two corners. It's been a very effective. By two point. Decent serve. It's good steady play at times. Again, very, very close to the sidewalk. 
Oh, he's, he's made, made the error. error. He's made the error. He 13 11. Butts his hand. Muller. Muller leads. Frustration. Two games to one. Nicky Muller shining. I do feel he needs to get off to a good lead in this fourth if he's going to close this out. The longer it goes on, get a sense that Mazzotti will just have the edge physically. Hand out, one love. Four love turnaround after that battle of the third. Got it. Just put away beautifully, it was loose. Cut Hand out. to shreds there from one Nicky four. Mueller. And it's just opening up the court a little bit too Hand out. Six, three. frequently. Nicky Mullo, he's gone for the leisure centre volley post. Down. Six, seven. Muller has got himself into an unbelievable position. Match ball, what a hustle. Utilising experience, not he's not going to get that. So Absolutely Nicky Muller no takes chance. it. He knows it's a crucially important match. So Nicky Muller manages to hold off Musotti. He's had a really tough, tough time. Last few months, Nicky Muller, and he's done very, very well to take this result here. 11, very well. Match to Muller, three games to love. Kept his head calm and steady. 8, 11, 11, 7, 13, 52 11, minutes, 3-1 victory for Muller. So she's based in Sheffield, England, where she's coached by... To four. see Victor starting to find her way in now. Oh. <laughs> Bit of a fortunate bounce, but very positive play. She's starting to strut around the court Hand here, out, Victor. 5-6. Nine six. That up. Yeah, sharp from Donna Lobben. Ten six, game ball. Clear signs that she's feeling good on the court. She can get onto a ball in that front. Well, she might do it, Joey. She's in the box seat here now in this first. She's done really 11, well. 10. Really well. Ball. She was down and out at the beginning. This is very good. She's even. This is how she even kind of does that slightly strange quirk with her with her mouth when she plays. <laughs> Up to typical, always did. Down. The grim. Yeah, it's a slight 12, grin, grim, grimace. Grim. Victor. Victor leads one <laughs> game to really love. It's quite weird because when you look at Victor everywhere else on the court, she actually has really good awareness of when to defend and lift and use Six that off. height, but not quite when she's rushed into that back right. So you'd think maybe you'd wonder about the maybe the technical. What an attack that is from Lobben. Nine six. On the backhand. That's a great shot. On a bit of a charge here. Well, again, it's Victor who's ridiculously clinical as soon and as she gets a bit of time seven, nine. on a ball. Not up. It's 11 8. Game to Lobben. One game all. to see what the physicality on the glass court is going to be like for Lobbin. There's no Victor is renowned for running on. If she can use her technical <coughs> abilities and out. Five, with three. the cold environment, Lobbin, then she's trying to step it up slightly, get a bit of energy back into it. But the hitting is accurate from Lobbin. I think she's really zipping and onto the ball in the better. front corners, Lobben. Yeah, I mean, when she plays at a, a higher tempo, this is eight. 
kind of all works nicely for a movement. She's quite a busy player with the footwork. Well, it's a real scramble here for Lobben. She's <laughs> staying in there. Oh, it's great resilience. Another clinical finish from Victor. She's not done here That's yet right. in this game. back corners it's for me I would say a little bit of an experience on the glass court showing here for Victor tremendous pressure a lovely hold that's the hold that stops the movement <laughs> and that's the 11-7 game to Lobin Lobin leads scream. two games to Guttural one Guttural scream from Donna Lobin she's obviously learned that from a few nights out in Sheffield Oh, unbelievable reactions. Damn. Unfortunately, unable to get that one on. So Donna Lobin starting to come back again. Bryce Smile. 6 8. I think that just stayed in. Down. Doesn't matter. And out, 10 all. Each. Oh, it was there. 13 11, game to Fichte. Two games Pretty off. tense, that shot from Lobben. Well, uh, the momentum's certainly going to be with the USA, number three. It's on. Um, Victor, just. Don't sound Maybe. convinced. But no, I'm not convinced at all. <laughs> oh, oh what a shot. It's a beautiful shot. There was no pace on it whatsoever. Clever change of play. Watch this. Just died in the bash. Oh, what a time to put out the attacking oh, no, most. <laughs> to add insult to injury, the Aussie Baus going 12 in. 12 11, <laughs> match ball. What and a actually, shot. Actually, wrong footing, Donna Lobbit. Trouble with that shot. Oh. oh, back will boast. Well, the positive hitting and ball striking is coming from Lobben. That was slightly tense and tentative and out from Victor. Down. Oh my goodness me! Fourteen, twelve. Match to so Lobben, three Victor, games the two the errors. Donna Lobben. 10, 12, 11, 8, 11, 7, 11, 13, 14, 12. Terrific match, very, very entertaining match between these two ladies. But really sad to see the two errors coming. In. Such a crucial time of the match there. So back on court, 63 minutes, five game victory for Donald Lobbin. Hand out to all. 
Last time they met, PJ, was actually at the DPT Open back in April last year. That was 3 2 to Selby, 80 minutes. Down. Pretty much guaranteed over 60 minutes in yeah. all their meetings. Yeah. Well, in all their meetings so far, it's gone 62, 82, 80. Yeah, it's not going to be short. Five, three. Injection of pace when he takes it in, just to get that opponent to move a little bit quicker. He kind of tends to float his short game a bit for me. Yeah, and then of course the, the opponent can glide in with the ball, can't they? Whereas if it's yeah. a bit quicker and the racket head zips through the ball a bit more, not only is the Hand ball out. quicker, but Nine also six. there's less time to work out what shot's just coming. Play. Yeah, it's just all that pressure. work again from Sam. He's got the width. Had to be good because Selby was creeping up the court. Really good awareness from Sam. It's another game ball for Sam. Out. No. No. Well, this is interesting. Balls out. 14 no. to Hold hold up, please. You sound like you're not sure, which means at 13 to 12, you can't be 100%. You can't stop going. OK, but play a lip, please. It, it oh, was dear, oh, dear. This I got is, uh, confirmation, confirmation from the video referee. Well, this 12. is weird because right uh, there's been confirmation from the video ref, which isn't actually allowed. Yeah, the referee can if there's conclusive evidence. I, I understand. The, the video referee the can video can interject to make sure that the um, right outcome comes from the, oh. the shot. So, but it needs to be conclusive, basically. Yes, let. Player reviewed. Selby on the yes, let decision. So we're going for a review here. Slight room to play. I'd go. I'd stay with let ball here, personally. Well, video referee disagreeing, going for the stroke, stroke feeling Selby. that Decision Selby couldn't overall. play 15, the shot. So, well, 22 minutes, 15-13, that game for Selby. about the Frenchman here so far in the second game. Uh, hit the right areas and uh, made it difficult to win points against. Yeah, I think some of this you have to credit his team as well. They would have got behind Lucas in that intermission. Hand out, 1-6. This is exactly what Sam needed because you can see by the way Selby's Down. playing, he believes he's right back in this game now. <laughs> he is. When it was 8 1, completely one sided, eight. and then a couple of outright winners. Tense times here in Cathedral Hall. There's the heart rate. So evenly matched. What yeah, a finish. Well, he, I tell you what, Daryl Selby had an opportunity to cut the volley off there on yeah, the backhand I thought that side as well. and he let it go. Hand out. Put himself in a poor Nine position eight. in the court back there and then the cross court width not good enough. And that is a big point for Lucas. Um, Down. Well, there it is. 11 8, game to Serm. Lucas Serm, the whip it. Equalising here.
Well, here we go. Going to be interesting to see who that second game affected most. Obviously, the confidence of closing it out for Serm is great, but of course, Selby also got himself right back in. One love. Just not sure whether he's got enough to to trouble Serm. Serm's still moving pretty well, and he's got all the lucky bounces. All the every <laughs> single lucky bounce has gone his way to be two. fair. Is really effective needs for to him. Be more, so. more often. Yeah, I think so. Or, or really recognise those moments when he needs it. Who's on to that quickly? So, um, Nine five. Himself five game balls here. Selby going for it. It's going to be a no let. It's a long way no to that ball. Well, we're getting a review. On a no -let I can't see it being anything other than I a think no Selby, let. Selby knows. Been using a bit of experience, but he's going to put himself in a position here of uh, possibly a maiden victory. It's a long way to that ball. It's a good shot from. Um, feel this is going to be to no avail. Goes with no let. One. Well, just seeing there that Daryl Selby's requesting a new ball as he's left the court. 11 5 that third game, not 10 5. The game has actually finished. <laughs> and it's 2 1 to Lucas. Um. Yeah, it's clever. Slightly high on the bow. You could see the movement of Selby just being stopped again from Serm. The speed onto the ball, the urgency. Stops and holds the swing. Down. No let. Use of the lob from Selby. We're now coming into that phase, Drew Boy, where you were talking about the experience of Selby knowing when to push and press and up the tempo, and we're seeing it again here. That's absolutely walloped, and there's the fist pump. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's just the awareness, and uh, Hand out. for me, this is exactly Eight, an example of what I was talking about. Well, it's clever. Very quick onto the shoulder of Lucas Serham there. Was out of court again. Just skimmed above the line, so three game balls saved by Serham. Old heart rate recovers incredibly well. Pure sign of fitness. Down. Oh, he's missed it. Lucas Erms clipped the tin. Now <laughs> Selby ten, gets himself Selby. over the line. 12 10 Two in that fourth on. game. Unbelievable retrievals there from Daryl Selby. Um, had the point one. For all. He's gone in here, he's got the cross court width. Well, he's loving that double counter. 
Daryl Selby. It's worked really well when uh, Sam is having to charge out of the corner just to send him back in there again. Well, the controller has slipped away from Serm. Serm is now having to use his pace to just retrieve the ball and stay in the rallies, which is allowing Selby to dictate proceedings. Down. 9-5. Well, it's just two points away. Still two match balls here for Selby. One more point for Sermon gets really edgy. Media referee decision oh. on Selby's appeal. There's the hospital pass to the video referee. He's looked for that a little bit as well, well though, isn't yeah, he? He's I know, kind of looked a little bit. Well, there you go. We thought it might come, it's and seven. it's such a shame for it to end like that. 11-8 match for Selby, three games to two. Oh, that's I mean, that's a horrendous way to lose a match. Lucas um, looking forlorn as he trudges off the court. Daryl Selby gets the win. All the experience has seen him through that. He's had to work incredibly hard to get the win. Just a bit flat at the end. 98 minutes, 3-2 to Selby. And there's a bit of trickery. Right side for love. Down. And out. Seven, two. And out six nine. Right out. There you go, closed out nine nicely six. by the English player. Game to Cortez. Cortez leads one game to love. Stroke two. Retorno. And out one three. Physical, trains very hard physically. This is a great rally for her. It's the first really physical rally we've seen. Starting to really get into. And there we go, there's the grunt. And that's the tired movement. And that's more like it. Right side. Yeah, very athletic. Right side. The Canadian is just starting to use that. Well, even if they were shouting for you. No, no, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I, I, so I really appreciate that. I'm not sure where we're meant to go. <laughs> Six all. I appreciate the support, but could you please change tact? <laughs> Down. Well, I can't believe she's Cortese. taken that one on Cortese at that point in the match. It's very similar to Olivia Fichter that played two drops from that point. Part of the game, the very back end of the fifth. Oh. And out, 1-5. Well, first point on the board here for Letourneau. He's actually been training in Egypt. Very different. Well, there you go. That's the racket skills of Cortes. Eight two. Possesses a lot of court craft. From the right, please. The player from Manchester.
And out. 4-10, match ball. Now that 11-4, match to Cortese, three games to love. Well, Julian Cortese does a demolition job 11, here. Four. Wasn't letting the athletic Canadian get into it physically at all. Very good environment for Cortese and be over the moon to book our place into round two. This is a very tidy start from Leo out. You'd never know it watching his demeanor. I mean, he's so laid back, this young chap. He's horizontal up against it here. He's a very good player, Leo Alt. And he's a more experienced campaigner, obviously. But just 24 years of age, Shah Jahan. Won't have had that much time on the glass court. Oh, that's beautiful. That will well, certainly set him down. I'll tell you what, the technique, he's put in his father's. I just said that. And out, one six. <laughs> you know. He's doing a good job of controlling the middle of the court here, Leo out. He's staying positive though, Shard Johan. That's clever. Very soft hands from Aaron. You can see how happy Leo Ao is with the way he's playing. Eight one. but also Tournament of Champions. He came up just shy. I can't remember who he played. I have to get back to the record books on that one, but had a very oh, good time. Shot, he he like got stitched. One. Crowd really enjoying the old cross-court neck. Set beautifully. He's got a nice technique on his forehand. Yeah, he's so got a good old techers. He obviously took no notice of his dad's. Just too sharp, too early. Well, he's quick off the mark. And then he gets the opportunities to go short. It's more pressure. It's way better. You can really see the movements of the players now. Up. Quality rally. And out, 3-1 doesn't say boo to a goose as we like to say back in the the old land <laughs> yes the very old land <laughs> it's good yeah, work he's, now. he's loving tight. the pace though Leo Al. this is a very comfortable pace for him maneuvering the ball around look at this and there's the speed he's got such a good natural speed Leo out. Especially into the front of the court. I mean, you look at Abdullah Five Tamimi, one. you look at Tarek Moman, nice and quick. also you've got to throw Leo out into that mix of how quick they are. Just, Just looking at the back row there, Joey. See a very bright white tracksuit. Looks like Ali Farag. What's your thoughts on the, uh, the little white number? Yeah, it's, uh, it's more for me like a, either a kind of cricket training suit or a bowls type suit. <laughs> Oh, that's clever. Oh, that's well played. That's how hard he's got to work. He's got to respond to this scenario now. Can't. It's a brilliant shot. Have you played that? Very. It's very high up actually. Yeah, good. And it's the boast. He's hit with some serious pace from Leo out. Absolutely rifles it into that front left corner. He's just opened up the court too frequently for me. He's been picked off by a very tidy Leo out. 
Yeah, it is. It's a good way of describing. He's keeping a tidy house out there. Anything that is slightly scrappy or messy, he's just tidying it up and winning the rallies effectively. This is an impressive performance. It's going to be an event there in the next phase anyway. I mean, it, on the calendar, it will be due possibly August. Well, that will be the China Open, and that's obviously probably not going to happen. No. So he's got to get used to playing a bit more, getting some results outside Overseas. of his own backyard. Yeah. Yeah. It's tidy. It's he's, got, he's got a lot of the attributes, mate. You know, huge, hugely balanced, unbelievable acceleration. This is unbelievable. That's too good. Such a good rally. I mean, again, PJ, it's not often that you make sense, but. 6 <laughs> 1. You know, the scoreline does not reflect the quality of the squash in terms of Shah Jahan Khan has not played badly. See Annie Al very happy in the front row there. She's impressed by her brother's performance. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. It's, it's got to be, I mean, I there's quite a few, but for me, he's definitely the silent assassin or the silent ninja. I mean, ninjas are really silent, that's why. Scintillating stuff here from Leo Alp. <laughs> oh, very impressed, very, very, very impressed. Have to feel a little bit for Shah Jahan because he's been, and out, four, ten, according to the score, magical. he's just been absolutely walloped. You wouldn't be sleeping on the job, though, would you? <laughs> Match Perfect length, Three finished off by Leo Al. Terrific display from this young lad from Hong Kong. 11 11 Forehand volley, weight of shot, five. on point. Just rounding off a very, very workmanlike performance from him. 35 minutes, 3-love, 11-3, 11-3, 11-5. Sees his way through to the second round here. Sold her the Hello. dummy there. Yeah, it's a good opening rally. It's been good from Abbas in the early stages. She certainly looks very settled. Found a range into the back, and her shot selection has been really good as well. Pretty severe. <laughs> She's really giving it what for. So Sobi. Both these girls Hand smashing out. the living daylights Two, out of the ball. Well, it's another wicked finish from Nada Abbas. As soon as that ball's loose, she's so severe on it. Six game balls for Abbas. The severity is the difference in this game so far, Yeah, Jake. well, that's... But, I mean, I would have... Down. I haven't seen a huge amount of Abbas Into playing, Abbas. to be honest. She's Abbas obviously leads. very, very One talented and, and has got a, a track record, but... Slightly. See there, Abbas is really flat with the racket face, which means she probably has to go cross court more than she go, go straight from that position. Difficult to get that ball sitting down there, so he gets the ball fading away by cutting the ball. It's clever stuff, appreciated by Amanda Sobey and Aidan Harrison. He's getting very close to the camera there. Bye ball. Aiden. <laughs> Not up. Seven six. Yeah. Very physical rally. That was a really physical rally. A slightly nervous look back. Hand out to her friends. Eight, nine. Certainly doesn't look to lob out of trouble. Down. That's tight, so Four she's converted. Game We're gonna have Sobe. a One game serious off. match on her hands now. A few questions are gonna be asked of Abbas, who certainly was in a hurry to try and get to two, love. Zoom in, 60 seconds. Not up. 
three, four. Not up. Seven five. A real seesaw. Seven eight. She's so dangerous yeah. up there. Yeah, well, nice close-up of Aiden yeah, Harrison so and Amanda Sobey <laughs> again. <laughs> well, crucial third game. There goes the entourage. Not up. 3-1. Five eight. Well, you are very confident and sure of your. <laughs> That's a good shot. Oh my word! I mean, this is such aggressive squash from both ladies. They were wearing the heart rate monitors; they'd be right up on their maximum pretty much all the time. But yeah. Read it. Out. There's out. 11 8. So the ball, as you say, clearly caught it. Caught. That is a brilliant finish from Sobey. Technically very sound on that and forehand there. One all. Nicely cut in. Activity from the word go, isn't it? Yeah. You know, aggressive, positive squash. Down. Well, she was there too early. She's actually on it too early. Eight, Lost seven. all of the energy into the shot. That's a way to play a forehand volley. That was Hand out. stealth like. Eight all. Check this out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, this is ridiculous. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. 10-8. Perfect attacking length Mad and ball. then but this be a very, very solid scalp if she does. Down. Oh, she's made the error. 11-8. made the error. Who is Amanda Sobey punching then? Aiden Harrison. 14-12, 12-10, 8-11, 11-8. Very entertaining match between these two ladies. Very, very entertaining. Sabrina Sobey, 51 minutes, five-game thriller. Which is determined to make these rallies as long as possible. Just hanging on in there, throwing the ball up, defending. You're forcing to Mimi to play that one extra shot. Terrific. And out. Three, four. It's a long drop from the forehand. Just pushes Richards into the front right corner. When he's in a steady rally and it sits up and it's his instinct to initiate the attack all the time. It's terrific touch. <laughs> it's a ridiculous touch. <laughs> Very excited. Well, quite, uh, quite loud. He was in the crowd. Oh, this is a great rally. It's like exhibition stuff. Mm. 
Oh, Richards is hurting here. Yeah, he's feeling this physically. He's up at 183 beats per minute. Richards. Oh. Just needed to go straight from Tamimi, though. Look at the open court on the right-hand side. Just a little bit of a flick down the line. Tom Richards completely and out to sea. And out 6-5. See this here, Richards guesses to the backhand. Getting to the yeehaws and the woohaws. And up. I think we're a few beverages in. <laughs> two days in this evening. To say it's about that time. 8 p.m. local time here in Chicago. The libations are flowing. Nicely slotted away, really good positioning from Al Tamimi when he off. took this shot on. Watch Very this, PJ. I mean, that's solid as a rock. Available. We're going into exhibition mode again. <laughs> You'd never guess that it's 12 all in the first. <laughs> brutal, though. Tom Richards is absolutely being pushed from pillar to post here. He's hanging on for dear life. Tamimi continues to fire the ball in. Do next. <laughs> did we just hear a wow? I think we did. Oh, this is brutal, absolutely brutal. Oh, oh he's hit the tin. Of course he has. We wondered what he'd do next. That's what he did. Trickle boast into the tin. Backhand drop was required. Just overcomplicated it. Tom Proud Richards. of going ballistic. Would have been brilliant if it had come off. Hand out, 13 12. That's good. That's a great shot from Richards. Oh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Let him fast forward, PJ. Oh, what a oh, shot! That move. is a ridiculous shot. Even car, he's got his head in his hands. <laughs> he's thinking, what? How he am I going to coach this? <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. What a shot. What I'm reckon he's closing this one out, though. Well, you got that, that vibe. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Down. Oh, dear. Absolute shocker. 18 16, game to Richards. Richards leads. Hard work one and the game persistency. The persistence, sorry, of Richards just doing enough in the end. Play will resume in 60 seconds. So again, it, but it's slightly more patient from Tamimi. He got his length, he got Tom Richards deeper in the court, pushes him back there. Then you can see his tee position is exposed. Bro, he doesn't have to go so low. I don't think that'd stop him from going really low, though. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Shut. And out three six. It's been a good game from El Tamimi so far. Oh, so that's my point. Yeah, so that's yeah. what I mean. So if there's two things that I'm not, there's two. Both players have done something I'm not convinced at. So then I'd be sitting yes, let. That would be my logic. If it kept happening, then I'd be trying to pick which I thought was the worst of the two Eight, evils five. to try and fix it. Gotcha. And and the the opportunities when he should be going. Short, he's going deep and vice versa. He's, uh, he's not quite seeing it at the moment. Well, there you go, and there's the physicality. It's starting to hurt because you can't keep making the wrong decisions, getting on the back end of rallies. Seven, eight. Not. Out. Terrific. Yeah, well, there's pressure accumulated Tamimi. by Tamimi. One game all. Well played, really entertaining match between these two. They've knocked huge chunks out of each other. Oh, 
I mean, obviously, there's been Mercurial players before, previously on the tour. And, and there's been players that have been unbelievably one. gifted and talented, but then completely sort of off the rails. The natural ability, and then he got to a bit of structure and a bit of discipline, and he kind of then, I feel, reached his potential. So, so the, I mean, I guess the magic question then is, is how did Palmer get structure into the Rodriguez game without taking the flair away from him? Five I, two. The I mean, that, that, the, the flair and the talent's always in there, isn't it? Well, that's a wonderful shot. So easily put away, pinned Tom Richards in the back corner and then was on to it Nine so three. quickly to make the court huge. Better. It's basic squash, and isn't it? He's got his line and then he's pushed Richards deep in the court and then the finish has been that little bit more precise. Continued where he left off. And if he's not careful, could be in another bit of a situation here. Down. He's gone short. Literally three out of four shots there. Five low. Katari's gone into the front of the court. They read it, just tight enough from Two five. Tamimi. Oh, that's brilliant. Six points in a row. I mean, he's, as Six we said, five. he's continuing to fire the ball into the front of the court, but, and it's world class. But when, when he drops off of that, we've seen some examples of it here this evening. He's, he's looking like he may have enough to come through here. Down. But the, the, the high ranked players, they, they're not going to get and lured now. in. Or they won't have a. a, a well, you drop just off. get cleaned up, that's the problem. <laughs> this could be the end. It is. Down. 11 7. Match to Tamimi. Three yeah, games for Really entertaining, yeah, entertaining match, PJ. Yeah, good game was crossed. 16 to 18. To a close. 11, Tamimi eight, in the end. 11, just five, a little 11 bit, uh, 7. Too much in the physical aspect of the game, but quality stuff. Well, 55 minutes of <laughs> high octane. <laughs> Corner to corner stuff between these two bits. Abdullah Al Tamimi, who comes out on top over Tom Richards, winning it 3 1.